Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn, getting ready to get some stuff done. So we've got 6.9 days left in our drought, and I'm just kind of looking at everything here. I'm hoping that that water level will drop significantly in the next seven days, roughly 6.8 days. You know, to the point of where we can actually get a few things done. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Let's go ahead and speed things up ever so slightly. Uh, let's see. I need, I need to get this path out of here. I need to get that path out of here. And we need to go ahead and seal this up as well. That way, all of that is situated, and we can go back to focusing on other things, like getting this over here done. That is what, uh, too far from the build, oh uh, wait, hold on, I know why. I'm like, too far from the builders, I'm like, what is, what is wrong with these people? There we go. There we go. And I don't know if I need a lumberjack here or a, a thing. Do I need to replace? I kind of feel like I need to replace. Mm, I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. Yeah, we've got a gatherer over here, so... I do have 17 people free. That's why we need to get this building built as soon as possible. Yeah, get me some beavers up here, please. All right. Yeah. A second builder's hut, I'm hoping, will help us out, like, tremendously here. Did we get it? Almost. They are working on it right now. They just need a handful of planks. Once we get those planks done, we'll get beavers employed. There we go. Two more beavers employed on building. All right, well... I guess let's get the uh, let's get this wall built. All right, we'll let that section of wall get built real quick. We've got, uh, we've got, yeah, we, <laughs> we most certainly do have a long way to go on some of this, uh, some of this wall here. I'm just kind of looking at some of it, just thinking like, man, well, they've got, they still got to get over here and that thing's trying to say it's too far from the builders and that's because we don't have a path over here and I hate running paths on the walls because then we have to remove them. I like the pass and I don't like the pass at the same time. Oh, these guys right here. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to jack these two houses up. Probably going to have to take those up to four high. And get this little section built. Yeah, as soon as I get some of that done. I don't want I don't want too many projects. Did you really do it? Of course you did. Of course you did. I it's like I can't build anything without a beaver getting stranded at some point. I'm to the point of where I'm just like, yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna mess with you. I'm just gonna you know, if you're that dumb that you got yourself stuck, well you're gonna stay. I don't know, they used to never do that. Like, I've played, I don't know how many different games 
or playthroughs or cities or whatever you want to call it. And in in the past, I would get like one, maybe two at most. But it seems like this last playthrough after that last update, it seems like I've gotten more stuck beavers than I ever have in this game. And, of course, they can't reach that either. Okay. Well. We'll just do that. That way they can at least reach that one to get that one situated. Because I don't want... I don't know. I've, I've, had, I've had mixed reports again. It's like the universes have merged once again. But I've had reports of that these form a solid barrier now. Even though I've seen them leak in the past. And so I'm still going to fill them in. I haven't... I haven't got to get back on a test game to test it fully yet, but pretty sure that that's what that uh, that's what that's about. Yeah, I would love to get some of this other stuff implemented here, but it's a race. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we just don't have much time, even though, I mean, you look at it and you're like, over here, you're like, oh, see, look, three more stranded beavers. It, I, or two more stranded beavers. Yeah, see, like, why are y'all... <sighs> I, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Whatever. This is why we keep extra beavers, because apparently they're not as smart as they used to be. Uh, something happened. Not sure what happened. Not sure when it happened. But yeah, the beavers' intelligence, as far as the AI, has dramatically decreased in the last few days. Or in a few days, I'd say a few months. They've had, they've had some issues. They have had some issues, and I don't know why... They are having such struggles, but they are. That is under a cut order, right? Ooh, why are you not under a cut order? I'm going to just end up marking like the entire map as a cut order just to prevent stuff like that from happening. Well, either way, that'll give us enough logs to get some stuff going over here. Y'all are still up there? <sighs> Gotta love it. Got to love it. Yay, they finished that little part. Alright. Well, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. How to... I'm not even sure where to put people at at this point. I know if I want to continue using this, I'm going to have to remove this gatherer. Because we're going to have to back up. I'm going to have to back up these stairs. I probably need to remove this lumberjack as well. Because I already know that at some point... This thing is going to go, well, if we do that, that's up to three. I was going to say we can make it up to four and then we don't have to worry about it. But if I do do that four, 
it's going to cut off that path. So let's do three for right now. I guess, maybe, somewhat, I don't know. I think we can make it ready for four on this side. Yeah, and then we'll just run that over and let me get a priority on all of that. I might have to sh shift that over. The Forester Beaver, he's tripping. He doesn't know what to do. He's stranded. I mean, technically, you're not stranded. Technically, you're in your work area. You're just not connected to the district. So... All right, point three days. How low did we get it? Let me see. Uh, not as low as I'd like it to be. That's about half a block. I wish it would have been at least a uh, fourth of a block lower, another quarter there, but yeah, we're about half a block. All right, so we have, what, a block and a half? to hold off because we have not got that next level done yet so hopefully it's not a long long wet season if we can get a short wet season followed by another long drought we'll be doing good hang on a sec okay let me see let me see let me see what do we got day one of the wet Yeah, get that built. There you go. I feel like we're going to have issues when we get over here to all this. I feel like we just don't have enough things, enough stuff to get it done. I don't know. I should have plenty of beavers. Well, I say beavers. Plenty of builders right now to get stuff done. But we'll see if our wood and our planks and all of our other goodies hold up. Come on. We got one staircase here. All someone has to do is build it. Y'all y'all are just, yeah, y'all are going to just run off. I see how you are. No matter, no matter how many be, uh, building beavers I have, it always seems like there's always that one build job that they all ignore and just wait till morning. Yeah. They got it. The forester died, but they got it, finally. Because, you know, sleep. Sleep, AI, they have no loyalty to each other. They don't. The beavers do not care. All right, now the question is, is which section do I want to mess with first? Do I want to mess with the housing or do I want to mess with over here? Either way, it seems like it's going to be a headache. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and get started and... Yeah, let me remove... Let me remove that. And we'll start running our levees this way. Uh, 
Who do we got over here? Gatherer? Yeah, we're going to need to move you, aren't we? Um, yeah, those berry bushes over here are not going to have... Well, I could replace that one. I don't know, part of me says instead of having to go up and down and over and, you know, just make it, make a straight line right here and then drop it down, maybe. I don't know. I know someone had suggested that I, instead of going this way, just run a path this way through it, which, you know, would make sense to do so, but we still, well, I mean, that would eliminate that staircase, wouldn't it? Maybe we should do that. Maybe instead of going up and down and around right there, maybe I should just do that. I think, you know what, I think that's actually a better idea. I'm going to do that. I'm going to just come through here. Yeah, let me let me do that. It's going to hurt food production for a minute, which we're not hurting, hurting on food. But let me do that. And let me get rid of, yeah, I think that will be the better, the better option here. I really do. Trying to, trying to keep up with a staircase like that is just, yeah, that's, we'll do this. We'll do this. Yeah, get rid of that. Then I can work on putting just that levee in right there. And you know what? I could... Okay, so that's already up at the top of the wall, isn't it? Okay, so let me see here. If I put in a gatherer right here, it does not go over. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much that it doesn't, it doesn't like catch that little section because, because of the wall. That's so annoying. Uh, and then it's like, if you want it on the wall, then you have to build on the outside and you have to do this and you have to do that. And yeah, it seems like just an extra hassle. I wonder if it'll work though, if I build outside the wall. It's, it works for part of it. Uh, they really need elevators or like ladders. Ladders would be so nice in this game. Having a beaver be able to crawl vertically instead of having to go like way out here on the slope. That'd be so nice. That'd be so, so nice. Even if they had like a scaffold around it, it would still probably be pretty nice. Um, man, I don't even know at this point. I know those berry bushes are going to come into play at some point. Yeah, they're at 89%. And nothing's going to gather them. I just don't know where to put. And I don't think anybody can reach that guy to get rid of that one. I don't know. Let's see. Can they, can we get rid of this bush? Is that a thing? Can someone do that? I don't know if they can even reach that. Probably not. Oh, no, he did. So maybe if I put a gatherer over here for the time being, that'll work. One gatherer right there. Do that. Raise the priority on getting that built. And, of course, we're not getting anything built over here because of that. So, let me put in another staircase. Alright, we've got 170 logs. We are about a quarter of a block away from that first layer. Which means we need to hurry... 
I really wish this would have been one of those six day wet seasons. All right. Um, how are we doing on food? Food's at 224. We don't have a lot of potatoes. Are you a potato grill? You are a, yes, you are a potato grill. Okay. So I am going to have to, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me pause you. Does it empty it out if I pause it? Yes, it does. Okay. Get rid of you. We're going to have to... We're going to have to figure something out here. Um, trying to think what would be the best way to do this. You know what? I know what the best way to do this is, is to get rid of this. Put in a staircase right there. Raise the priority of that. Put in... Uh, that guy. Well, no, that wouldn't work. Mm, see, why can't we build over the top of those? They really need to consider letting some of this stuff get like... I mean, because it's a water barrel. It's not like we're catching rain. Trying to think, how can I get it... Yeah, without circling around. Well, of course, then again, I could... I could do this. No, I can't do that. Hold on. So many extra paths. Trying to get it to where it's situated for a new... For the four block height is what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't even know if we need that guy. See, the problem, oh, so that's, yeah, that's going to be another problem, is how to get them, oops, hold on, hold on, we are going to have to, that's so many planks. That is so many planks. All right. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. If we're going to build it to where it survives, we're going to have to, we're going to have to go that high with it. So that's the only problem that I'm having right now is I don't feel like I can dedicate all of my time to building the third layer because I have to get everything situated to get to the uh, to get to that fourth layer. I feel like it's a pretty big jump here. So I could turn this build. I might just go ahead and leave that turned. They did get that built pretty fast though. They used up a lot of planks but they did get it built fast. Well, if nothing else, a handful of structures will survive the flood. <laughs> uh, this game. Gotta love it. Got to love this game. It's frustrating and appealing all at the same time. Gotta love it. Alright, new grilled potatoes. Oh, are we actually out of beavers here? Hold on. Oh, a whole bunch of them died of old age. That's not cool.
You mean to tell me I actually have a, a negative on my beavers? Yeah, I see. Okay, well, I guess when we start removing these two buildings over here, we're going to get extra beavers put into different places then. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, how many planks do we got? We only got 30 planks. How much? Hold on. How much is it going to take to do a double? It's going to be four planks per. So that's going to be 12. Yeah, it's going to be a little expensive. All right, get rid of it. Get rid of it and build it on up. One step at a time, I guess. All right, slowly but surely. So I really hope we get a nice, good, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, good drought come in. There you go. Now y'all should be able to reach that as well. <laughs> yeah, we're just not, we're not going to have enough to get this hauling post situated here in a minute. I think I'm going to hold off on destroying that hauling post until, until we get some more resources built up because we only have three logs. Uh, where is all of my trees? Do I need to cut down my chestnuts? I have this feeling we're about to get like a big wave of maple though. I say that. Maybe we just got off of a big wave of maple. And yeah, there's a couple about to come in. Well, that one. That one. That one. That one. Okay, yeah, there's a few that are about to change. What is that, a chestnut? Why do I have a chestnut in the middle of my maples? Yeah, I think we're about to get a good thing of maples come in. Okay. Okay, well we got one block left. I really could use that little that little incoming drought warning right about now. That'd be really nice. Really nice game. Really, really, really nice. If you would, you know, alert to that. Okay, so they're still working their way around on that one. All right. Well, at least more wall is still getting built, so. Yes! Drought incoming. The drought is incoming. That is what I needed to hear right there. Such a small area. Oh, that was another thing. Someone had suggested maybe relocating over here. So at the current water height, let's see. 
we would have to be one, two, three blocks up, which would be one, two, three blocks, which means this will flood. <laughs> just, just so everyone knows, if I did relocate over here to this island, I would still have to build a wall around this because that would be, that'd be the flood plain right there. Which, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm on the fence about going up to a fifth level. I don't know if we need to or not because like we saw where the water comes right up to the edge and stops and technically if it comes up to the edge and overflows, would it still overflow over here or not? Because I mean, that's, yeah, I don't, I don't really know if it would or not. So that's one of those. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens type thing. And it might be a good deal. It might be a bad deal. I don't know. Could be a deal that I just don't even want to mess with. All right. So. I think we've got enough planks now. I can go ahead and get rid of that guy. And let's jack it up. Let me see, get this. <gasps> Did it just, it seriously deleted that water tank, didn't it? Seriously? Game? Oh, you game. Okay. <sighs> Not that it was super important, but, you know, it would have been nice to, like, maintain that. Oops, I didn't mean to put that down there. Did not mean to do that. All right. I'm trying to figure out what are y'all what are y'all running down here for? Like I keep seeing beavers disappearing in there and I don't know why they're why they're even messing with that. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're f we're finally finally getting past some of the the junk, the mess, the headache. I think yeah, that that was the part that I I dreaded the most. At least as far as getting that did y'all really just strand your Beavers, I don't have... See, now I don't have the extra beavers to, like, mess with be, being stranded and unstranded. And now they're doing it just to jack with me, I think. Do I even have planks to do this? I probably don't. I probably don't, but, you know... Let me see, um, where is, there it is, priority. Get those three built, please. Okay, so are you, did y'all really... He, the beaver left and left the other one stranded. <laughs> oh, these beavers. These beavers. Why? Why do these beavers do this to me? 
All right, put in two water barrels right there. That way we can replace the one that I that I lost, and we'll put in an extra one just in case whenever I get over here to move these pumps because, yeah, those pumps aren't at four high. Ooh, that water. That water got up pretty close. It got up pretty close. That's all right, though. We're going to have that tree farm for one more 16 days. That is an entire block, so we might be able to keep that tree farm for just a little bit longer. That's that's what I like to see right there. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, that's going to give us a little bit of leeway there. Most definitely a little bit of leeway. All right, guys. Well, we're surviving. We're getting there. Stuff might not be the greatest, but it is... It is improving ever so slightly, so. Once again, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always... Feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.